Join us as we go bikepacking from Georgetown in the north of Malaysia all the way south to Singapore. Let's go downstairs, bro. Hurry up. Let's get told off by the car park people. Oh, no, I'm going, I'm going to go the proper way, which involves riding up. So <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why am I doing this to your bike? Because you're a strong man. When James isn't here, someone has to be the James. <laughs> On this trip, I am the James. The dad role, yeah? Yes. I've enjoyed my uh, being a child on bike packing trips for too long. <laughs> this is my punishment. Good morning. Uh, is it good morning? <laughs> it is very good morning. You're joining us out of town. Something like that. Yeah. I might end up in Malacca Beach. <laughs> like, like Alina. We've replaced Ben so quick. <laughs> <laughs> I went with Alina to Malacca Beach actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, for her little YouTube that video. That was very recent. Yeah, that was like last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sad to be leaving Kuala Lumpur. Mate, I'm very sad, but very happy at the same time to be back on the road. And it's just annoying having all your stuff spread everywhere. And then yeah. as soon as it's on here, it's like, ah, uh, I can relax again. Uh, I know where everything is. <laughs> Lawrence isn't losing like <laughs> things out of his bag. It's very hot. So warm. Today, Francis woke me up pretty early and we're out on the bike at sunrise again. This time, however, it's because we need to get to the Malacca which is our longest leg of the whole journey so far, just under 150 kilometers, including getting out of Kuala Lumpur traffic. Big ask. Francis, oh. have we been in rush hour? I think we are, I just think rush hour is just beginning. Yeah? But we're gonna be out of the city just in time. That was the plan, eh? Wow, Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. see the screen behind me. Beautiful, beautiful. I spoke too soon. Monday morning traffic is real. I've ridden in some mad places before, Lawrence. Yeah. But I think that takes the... That's like most dangerous ever. So much nicer riding at this time. It's getting it? warm though, isn't it? It is getting warmer. You can feel it. But we've done like 40k. True. That's good. I think that's going to be like my weekly ride, Malacca Beach, right? Later. <laughs> Bike in a bush. We've already done 45k. We're covering good ground. So we've been on the road for a couple of hours now, just starting to get very warm. We've stopped for a quick pit stop. Look at the state of that. <laughs> that is so, you know, Rob Vardaman. Yeah. Shout out Rob Vardaman. Mountain Dew for breakfast. No. Oh, I can't, that's too much. Fuel of champions. That's too much. Fuel of champions. As Francis just said, we are a third of the way into today. So we've made pretty good progress this morning. I didn't say that. You did just say that. Oh, off camera. Lawrence has been looking for a battery for the last week. The very for important. power meter. Yes, very important. Come here. I knew there'd be a shop with the most batteries in the world ever. <laughs> they don't have it. We're not going to get one. Hello. We're looking for a battery. CR1. Lawrence, can you get take it off your pedal? I don't know how to do that. It's just an Allen key. Oh, mate. you're telling me that they have like 300 every, batteries. They have every other battery in the world, but they don't have the one for you. Whoever designed the Garmin Rally pedals, ridiculous. Mm. Why can't you just stick them in, recharge them? It's 2024. I'm eating some M&Ms. Unfortunately, it's like an M&M &M gel. Oh, that is disgusting. It goes down quite well though. <laughs> so it's around midday, we've arrived in the city of Seremban. Very, very different to anything that we've seen on our trip so far. Look at all this graffiti. It's cool here, no? Quite nice. It's very different. Seremban. It's cool. Seremban. Seremban. Very different from anywhere we've been, no? Yeah. It's more Indian influence, isn't it? Yeah. I've never been so happy to see McDonald's. I think I'm hallucinating. I'm dead. It's hot. Hot, hot. That's like, that's the most we've ridden without stopping. Yeah, it is, you're right. Because we've got used to the heat, I think. How long have we done? I don't know, 100K. Feast, Francis. Feast. So, 
feeling a hell of a lot better after that McDonald's. I feel sad that we're eating McDonald's, but I don't feel sad that we're surviving. So. Just nowhere else is open yet. Mate, Later on, I bet we can get some banging food in uh, Malacca. Oh. It had aircon and it had big drinks with ice in. But it did have anchovies in the thing. <laughs> in the hour that we were inside, oh, so in hot. the aircon, it is now about 40 degrees. Not quite, but it feels that hot. Luckily, the roads are relatively fast today. And we've got about an hour and a half, we reckon, to go. Not too bad. Careful with those coconuts, sir. What? More likely to die from a coconut falling on your head than a shark attack. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen any coconuts. <laughs> They're in the street. That's tree. how they get you. You know, all that time in Kuala Lumpur, you didn't see a single koala. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you melting? Yeah, I need I need liquid. Did you film the bit? You didn't, did you? What way? Well, we went the wrong way and we ended up near the dogs. No, I didn't film that. I haven't told the viewers about that yet. In the winter, zero degrees. So we just stopped at 7-Eleven uh, again uh, to cool down because we were overheating somewhat. It is uh, insanely humid down here. We are 30 kilometers away from where we're staying tonight. To us. <laughs> you subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> there you go, got one new subscriber. Today was worth it. Just riding into town just then, it started to spit and I haven't made sure everything is watertight today. I enjoyed the few rain spots. I was doing a rain dance to try and get it to <laughs> chuck it down. It would have been nice, to be fair. Yeah, it would have been nice. But, would it have been nice on that road? Uh, nah. Maybe not. No. Maybe it would have been scary. It would have been fucking horrible. Yesterday, we were sat on the roof of our apartment complex and it absolutely shut it down. Thunder, lightning, we were right in the middle of the storm. It just turned four o'clock, five hours, 45 on the clock. Decent day, decent day out, 150 kilometers. Oh man. Today, despite the lack of climbs, it's probably the hardest so far. That's up there with hardest rides I've ever done. Really? Uh, oh, definitely. In at number? Top 10. Top 10? Yeah, it's top 10. <laughs> I've never had to stop like every 10k to survive. Madness. Yeah. But yeah, checked in. This is another one of those hotels where we're not allowed the bikes in the room. Getting used to it now. They've provided us with a, a lovely kitchen space downstairs for the bicycles to hide. A good ride is when you end the ride just when you're about to die. Right, we've checked into our hotel and it's time to share with you probably the best trick in existence, other than Francis's towel trick, obviously. Second best. Second best, he says. This is a folding backpack from Osprey and I've been using it every single day so far on this trip. The way that my tail fin is set up, I can't remove the tail fin very easily without undoing bolts. So, to save time, I've been stuffing this backpack full of my clothes. I'm using it to carry all the stuff that I need in the room every evening. Francis, every evening, has been carrying his tail fin with all the bag attached. Very heavy, and so this method may be better. I also used this rucksack as a carry-on on my flight when I wanted to have my all my electronics and my laptop and everything with me. But then, when I got to the other side, it would disappear into itself and I wouldn't need to worry about having something pretty bulky to carry around. This is the reason why it's just so valuable. Look at that. That is it, fully folded up. That is gonna take no space whatsoever. The lift music is outside the lift. No pets, no durians. It's my last one. 